Well, hello again. It's, Hi. it's been thir <laughs> 30 what degrees? I don't even know. Yeah, 40 something. <laughs> oh, yeah, so apologies for no suit again. It was hot two weeks ago. Yeah. And it's even hotter now. Well, I've, so. I've, I've, I've relented. I've got the window open. I've got, so apologies if you hear anything. I've yeah. got the blinds open as well just to get some kind of air in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, what is it, half past eight near enough-ish, mm -hmm. and it's 26 according to my phone, oh, I just checked. It feels so much hotter than that, it's ridiculous. That. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't I didn't check the feels like or the humidity, I can't be bothered, but no. just seeing 26 was enough. I think it is <laughs> humidity, isn't it? There's just no air. Nothing's moving. I mean, I'm no. looking outside now at the trees, not a single leaf is moving right now. No. There's nothing. Oh, it's horrible. Anyway. <laughs> It's all right. Anyway. When it rains, we'll moan that it's too wet, and when it yeah, uh, too wet. windy, we'll oh. moan that, about that as well because we're British and that's what we do. <laughs> yes, we have to moan about the weather and exactly. then talk about it exactly at length. So, welcome to the shipping podcast forecast <laughs> podcast. Yes, welcome to the shipping <laughs> forecast with Pookie Pidge and Ed Broom, Bridget Pixels and Pimple. No, of course not. How have you been anyway? Apart heat from the aside. heat. Apart from the yeah. heat. Yeah, not too bad. Not quite as productive as I wanted to be because this room is like an oven. Um, yeah. And obviously with a console blaring out so much heat because of the fans. Um, yeah. I got a few bits done over the weekend recording wise but not quite as much as I planned. And the stream <laughs> yesterday, I was just, by the end, I was dripping. Yeah. <laughs> it just reminds me of that one... Uh, I had the day off last year for the hottest day of the year. I think it was about 35 for one of the days. And that was the day I decided to record some um, um, uh, Master Trainer series. Mm. <laughs> and I remember recording one. I think it was the Goldeen episode. Or the Seal and Dugong. It was one of those water type things. And I was, might have been wearing this top actually. And I just remembered I watched the video because I only ever did one. I was like, no, I'm not doing all... Right, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> you think, no, not doing any more. Oh. And I watched that back now and I think, oh my God, I, I'm like red face <laughs> dripping. And I was like, why did I decide to do that? <laughs> well, yeah, why, why not just postpone that one for a bit? I think oh, there, was, well. there was one as well around that same time where you recorded three in one day and by the third one you were like, no, nope, no more suit jacket, I'm not doing it anymore. I did it for yeah. the first two, it's too hot, I'm not doing it this one, that's enough. Yeah, I had a habit of, everyone was like, oh you're so lucky, and I'm like, well, no, because I hate the heat, I'm, I'm <laughs> one of those people, <laughs> you all like it, I don't, <laughs> I, I think I'm the most unluckiest person, I've got to sit in the heat and be miserable on my day off. <laughs> I, oh, like, well. I like holiday heat, Like I like yeah, that's different. foreign heat is good, but yeah, the heat, heat here is just all kinds of wrong. <laughs> British heat it's sucks. Just, yeah, it's, it, I think it is the humidity. There's no air ever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, oh well. At least you managed to get some videos done. <clears throat> yeah, and I've, out I've, there. I've sort of finished the edit, or at least the cropping edit part of one of them. Uh, okay. First in a new series. Oh, lovely. Yeah. That's good. A kind of a recurring series that I'm going to do whenever. It's going to be one of them. you can. Yeah, rather than, I'm going to do this one once a month. So, yeah, I've kind of cropped out all the gaps and all the, you know, the repeats and all that malarkey. So it's tidy. I just need some uh, some overlays and things on it just to make it look a bit more interesting. So hopefully that will be up probably next week. Okay, that's good then. Um, we, yeah. shall, yeah. we shall all look out for that. And uh, what else is there? Yeah. And there's something else. There'll be a stream. There's usually streams happening. Uh, It'll be a nice warm stream. Yeah, it'll be a dripping wet stream. Literally <laughs> a stream running <laughs> down my face. Um, yeah, and probably some gameplay video being recorded. I'm just looking at the stack of... Because I kind of set games aside. That's kind of why I'm looking over that way at what I oh, need okay. to do. One pound wonders, that was it. Ah, yes. That's what I meant wonders. to record last weekend, and it was just too hot, so I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got enough one-pound wonders to last you for a bit longer then? Uh, no, 
I've got one that I bought the other week, and then I need to buy another one. Fair enough. So hopefully we don't go into a second lockdown because yes. I've only just got used to being able to go back into town and buy a, another game. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I was going to say CEX in Chelmsford was open, but for how long we don't know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. By the time we record another one of these in two weeks' time, we could all be locked down. Well, you know, you just don't know. As long as we don't have to change our plans for our stream. Exactly, our 24 hour stream, 18th of September through to 19th. Do watch, do join, do donate. I'm glad you know the date because I keep saying <laughs> it's around whatever Friday it is, around sort of the 16th to the 20th. Yeah. Whatever that Friday is into the Saturday. That's my kind of <laughs> cop out. <laughs> yeah. Because I sort of um, saw as well the Macmillan Coffee Morning is the 25th of September, which is the week after, the Friday oh, after. Oh, okay, that's quite so it's, handy. Uh, yeah, good timing, all yeah. of that happening. Yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, when it gets to probably within a sort of month or so of the actual event, we'll actually, you know, we'll publish probably a lot more prominently rather than just yeah. mentioning in videos like this, actually. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll shove it in your faces soon. And you'll be so <laughs> sick of it, you'll be desperate to watch all 24 hours of the stream. Yeah, all that, yeah. That's more <laughs> yeah. important, actually. It's more important yeah. to get the money than people actually watching the stream. So if you want to do one or the other... Don't watch the stream, just donate some money. <laughs> exactly. I don't mind if we hit our target and we only get three people watching throughout the whole thing. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, I'd prefer <laughs> a few more than three. Yes. But, you know, Seven. if someone said to me, you'll only get three people, but you'll meet your target, I'll go, yeah, go on in, yeah, I'll take we'll it. Yeah, we'll take that one, yeah. Oh, dear. But, yeah, no, I, yeah, I need to get myself on Twitch, actually. I know oh, you do a, yes. a fair amount. Yes, that's because we will be yes. twitching from your Twitch, won't we? Yes, we will, that's from the, the shed. Because we'll be over at yours anyway, so it makes sense to twitch off your Twitch. Indeed. Uh, if anyone's interested that's listening to this, message me. Um, it probably won't be before the time this is released Sunday, because this week, for some reason, I've had something to do every day except Friday, and I haven't got the time to sort of, in one evening, go, right, I need to set this up, try it. You know, I want to make sure I set everything up maybe one evening and then the next evening go right now I'm in. Makes so, sense. So, but yeah, but if people want to watch it, let me know and I'll let you know when I'm happening. If not, it will just be yourself, Ed, making sure I don't mess up and making sure it all runs well. Yeah, it's more from a. a logistics. Yeah, it's more to make yeah. sure that obviously Technical. when we do the stream, we're fairly confident that you'll actually see us and hear us and the games <laughs> yeah. will link up properly and yeah it won't be a complete blackout i yeah. mean we'll probably have our phones on standby anyway and just every now and then glance at them to make sure the feed is still working from your end but yeah exactly yeah yeah we'll have a few spotters throughout the day <laughs> hopefully yeah that'll be handy <clears throat> yeah but you don't you you all don't care about the technical stuff. You just <laughs> want to know what we're doing, what we're playing, and how long, and where, and and how to donate, we, yeah. <laughs> and how to donate, which is going to be the website in the description of either of these videos. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, um, and every video we publish actually. Mm. But uh, it's actually quite easy to remember. www you got dot okay easy to remember not say. <laughs> Justgiving.com forward slash Ed Pidge. That's, that's it. Not Pidge. That is it. There's no fancy codes or anything. No. Nope. It is going to be really fun as well. I'd, I'd recommend watching it. We've got a hell of a lot of good games. At, actually, we've got a hell of a lot of pants games lined yeah, up as well. Yeah, we, we need some is, NAF games as well, yeah. Just to... Yeah. Why not? I just I wouldn't want to watch someone playing really really great amazing popular games for 24 hours. I want to see some really ridiculous things in there. Yeah. You know? And some like there's some fun party games as well. Exactly. And there'll yeah. probably be out, bits out and boxing. pieces where we can play along with you guys as well via online yeah, things. So definitely. hopefully there'll be a bit of interactivity. Yeah, we'll share some codes if people are interested. Like yeah. if we yeah, we may even bring out I don't know Mario Kart on the Switch, and if you want to join in, we'll figure that out and we'll get people in. You know, mm -hmm. so so keep up with it. I, I'd recommend it. It's going to be great. Yes. If the world lets us. I mean, if we don't recommend it, then it's a sorry state of affairs, isn't it, really? Because no exactly. one's going to recommend it for us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, dear. But no, yeah, so keep up, keep keep watching, keep watching. 
Well, yeah, speaking of games. <laughs> yes. Segway into everything we talk about, which is a great segue. Mm-hmm. Um, I, may, I may go first this time. I can't remember if you did last time. That, that's I'll... a good idea because I'm not talking about games, so otherwise that would have been that's the worst exactly. segue in the history of segways. Talking about games, Ed, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> No, um, I've. We've. We never say what each other are sort of talking about, really, until we get to the podcast. So it's more live reactions and hmm. you know, not live. Re- you know, it's it's there. But you know, uh, this time around, you did mention you're sort of doing a, what you're doing. Not you know, you didn't tell me exactly what you were doing, but you sort of gave me a gist of what you were doing Indeed. in a, like a five word description. Yes. So I thought, it sounds fun, so I'm going to try and do something fun as well, so the whole podcast is going to be a laugh. Yay! Rather than moaning about Paper Mario or (laughs) bad decisions in WWE or whatever, I thought, let's both be lovely and happy. Let's have fun. So I'm doing something I've probably done before. (laughs) A Nintendo quiz! Yay! Yay! Accidentally added two characters on my laptop then. (laughs) Um... Yeah, so it's basically ten questions with, and nine of them have got a, a three multiple choice answer thing. Right. One of them, I'm I'm not. One of them, I haven't bothered. One is just. Obvious. This is the question. Tell me the answer. Exactly. Fair enough. But yeah, I think I should just go straight into this because how else are you supposed to describe a quiz, a Nintendo quiz? It's a quiz about Nintendo things. Good description. Go for there it. you go. Well, I'm going to go straight into number one. Mm-hmm. What was the sequel to Super Mario World? They all they all um, have the prefix of Super Mario World Two, then something. So Super Mario World Two, Plumbing Adventure, Yoshi's Island, or Pipe Dreams. Luckily, I know this because I've done a hidden gems mm. video on it. Yes, <laughs> yes. I thought I'd start with a familiar question. Yoshi's Island. A game I nabbed off my cousin many, 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 many years ago. And uh, for some reason I gave it back to him. Indeed. I mean, would you like me to tell you throughout if you've got it right or wrong or save it till the end? Nah, we'll, we'll wait till the end, but I know that one's okay. correct. Fair enough. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll put a letter on my laptop rather than try and find a pen. Fair enough. Boom. Right, okay. Cool. Um, Lovely. Yes. Well, there you go then. I, I wonder if you got that one right. <laughs> Ooh, let's find out at the end, shall we? Over the suspense. Um, well, question two. There you go. How many Legend of Zelda games are there? Yeah. Is it 19, 20 or 21? What? Yes. Wow, they were not numbers I was expecting. Yeah. Jeez. Well, what were you expecting? Uh, pff, maybe 10? Yeah. Yeah, there's been some spin-offs, because you've got Cadence of Hyrule this time. Oh, we're counting every single oh, anything. No, then. not Cadence of Hyrule, sorry. But we're counting... That's slight spin-offs, like what? Link's Awakening for yeah. the Switch, re- you know, that sort of thing. Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. Ah! If it's got Legend of Zelda in the title, that's what we're counting. Fair enough. Does that include both versions of Link's Awakening, technically, as they were two different releases? Yeah, I would assume so. Okay. So what were the numbers, sorry? 19, 20 and 21? 19, 20 and 21, yeah. Oh, it could be any of them. Um, it, it could, you are right. Because, because Correct! Yes! <laughs> Get in! Number three. <laughs> because we're in the 2020 year, let's go with 20. Okay then. Okay, we will do that. Because I've got no idea. Okay, fair enough. Uh, on to, guess what, question three. <sighs> Saw that one coming. <laughs> This is... Uh, I've, I've included it, but it's about an urban myth. <laughs> okay. So, there's an urban myth uh, that suggests that Donkey Kong was supposed to be called something else, but what was it? The actual game, not the character. So was it Monkey vs. Plumber, Donkey Apocalypse, or Monkey Kong? I have a feeling it's the first one because Mario is in that, isn't it? That's the one where you're climbing up the ladders and jumping up to each platform where he's throwing um, barrels down at you and you have to get up to the top each level. Yes, 
Um, and I believe that's both of their first appearances, I think. Okay, then. And, as a little aside, the old donkey, the old, not donkey, the old kind of ape person in um, Donkey Kong Country, who is called yeah. Cranky Kong, it's yes. kind of hinted within that game that he is that Donkey Kong throwing the things down the... Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's a dog right on cue. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've got my window wide open. You're going to have background noise, I don't yeah, care. No, yeah, no, probably oh, is something that... <laughs> from here as well, but never mind. Yeah. <laughs> is that what you're going for, then? Yeah. Okay, then. I will note that one down. Question four. Um, how many different games has Mario appeared in? Oh, what? About this is this a isn't hundred? a. Yeah, this isn't a specific number. <laughs> I've given you brackets. So you've got zero to one hundred. Oh, okay. Um... 101 to 200 or 201 plus I know it or sounds more, more mad. than 200 if you want to call yeah. it that I, I know it sounds mad but I'm going to go for the top one because of the amount of like spin off games the amount of yeah. kind of probably non Nintendo games that have actually been licensed also by Nintendo, possibly even on other platforms that you might have appeared in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so going, are you going full hog, two un over 200. Over 200? All right, yeah. then. I will note that. Go for it. Uh, number five. Um, which Nintendo console was available in the colours indigo, black, oh, uh, yeah, indigo, jet black, and spice? GameCube. Was it N64, GameCube, or Wii U? Okay, then. <laughs> you're going for GameCube? I forgot there was multiple choice. Yeah. Yeah? GameCube. Are you going for, yeah. are you going for GameCube? All right. That was a nice quick one. Very confident one as well. Mm -hmm. We're confident on that one. Doesn't mean it's right, but... <laughs> I'm putting Y or N after all of your answers, so at the moment it just says gamecube Because we know, <laughs> you know that's right. It's right. Oh, okay. Fair <laughs> um, I just want GameCube. Um, oh, I'm playing GameCube. Uh, right, sorry. When did speaking of the Wii U, which is in a a previous answer just then, when did the Wii U launch? Uh, 2010, 2011, or 2012? <clears throat> I've never played a Wii U, and I'm not that bothered. No, I think <laughs> I'd be more bothered if I had played one. Yeah, so would I. <laughs> I don't know. They pretty much died a death as soon as they were released. I don't actually know when the Wii was released, so I can't even use that as a kind of measuring stick to go, oh, I think it was out X amount of years before it was... Yeah. Um, I'm going to check when the Wii was released myself, because I, I think it's a certain year. I will. Right. Yes, I was right. <laughs> I will say that the Wii U was older than we think it is, and say 2010. Okay, 2010. Yeah. I will write that down as your answer. Locked in. It's done now. It's done now. <laughs> uh, this one, uh, this one amazed me just as a general fact. Um, general fact. Number seven. General fact. <laughs> There is a hidden message on the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers. Apparently, if you move the right analog down, there's a little message on the on a ring just underneath, hmm. which is incredible. I did not know that. As but in, what is it? Yeah. What is the pro? Is that the controller that's actually a controller? controller? Yeah, that's the actual oh, hand. Damn yeah, it, I probably. can't even check. Yes, exactly. Don't own one of them. No, but it's. I Google image this immediately. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, yes. So, but what does it say? That's the question. <laughs> um, all of these are in text sort of language, so, but I'm just going to say them as actual words, just okay. for things. Is it, thanks to all game fans, one up, or my body is ready? What's the hidden message on the controller? My just as a visual guide, yeah. Just as a visual guide, it's on like the semi-circly bit. That I'll show the camera, 
the semicircle-y bit there. This is a PS4, so this obviously yeah, not right. Yeah, yeah. It's just placed there. It amazed me that there was anything there in general, to be honest. I was like, wow, I did not know that. I mean, to be honest, the only one that really makes any sense from a gaming perspective is 1UP. Especially yeah. with the Mario link, but yeah, I guess I'll up. go for 1UP. Okay then, I'll lock that one I in. don't really know what it means, but the, the, <laughs> the first one is just a bit gamers. To be honest, yeah. gamers isn't what I would relate with Nintendo players, if that makes sense. Yeah. And the last one is just a mental sentence. Yes. Well, the last one is um, uh, based on the former president of Nintendo of US. can't remember his name off the top of my head now. Um, he To bring out the Wii Fit, he, um, he came on and he said, my body is ready, and it became a meme everywhere. Oh, okay. So that's... so that's where the Nintendo link for that is. Oh, okay. So it could be that because of... Oh, okay. Fair yeah, enough. so it wasn't a random choice. It was a. Fair you know, it may be the correct answer, but either way, it is a Nintendo-related choice Gene. of answer. Got you. Okay. <laughs> yes. Anyway, sorry, I, I digress. Sorry. Number eight. Um, this is not multiple choice. This is what was the first household Nintendo console released to consumers? Oh, hang on. Did I say handheld or household? You said household. That's good then. It's household, yeah. <laughs> uh, the first household Nintendo console released to consumers. I, I know, I know what it is. I'm just trying to rack my brain for the Sega video that I did, just in case I came across something else in that <laughs> that means it's not the obvious answer, because the obvious answer is the NES, okay. the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, I just need to double check my brain that there wasn't a secret one from earlier. I don't think there was, because there was Sega wise, it wasn't the Master System the first one for that. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure Nintendo wise it was the NES. NES? Yeah. Is that answer locked in or lock that in? Yeah. Doom, right, yep, yeah. boom, boom, it's in. Uh, the next one, hopefully you'll get this actually. Um, when was the first Super Mario Brothers game released? Was it 1984, 1985, or 1986? Pretty sure that's 1985. Okay then. I think. Oh, his face is. Think... We'll go back to that one, whether it's right or wrong, we'll see. Uh, and finally, to finish it all off. While well, I correct typos, even though no one can see my own <laughs> quiz. <laughs> um, which Legend of Zelda game created the Zelda timeline? Ooh, Was I... it Majora's Mask, A Link to the Past, or Ocarina of Time? Oh my god, I didn't even know this was a thing. No, it's a complicated thing to explain. <laughs> It's very, yeah. I've not really played any of these games. I've sort of played a bit of Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, but not enough to really okay. get into the real gritty part of the story. Yeah. Link to the Past, that was a SNES one. And I must say, the Zelda timeline is something I'm still not completely clued up on, so. This question was taken straight from my website, I must admit, rather than thought up. So, I think it's a link to the past. Okay. Was it, is that final answer? Yeah, I think it might be something to do with the fact that the idea of the basic story of Zelda, where he has to, obviously, Link has to rescue Zelda from Ganon every single time, is an idea that every single game is like history repeating itself it's not actually okay. the same characters in the same world it's it's literally like history repeating itself again and again and again yeah and i think that's where that timeliney thing sort of comes in okay then i think well fair enough all right then well we'll lock that answer down 
There you go. And that is all ten questions done. Okie dokie. All of them. How bad did I do? Um, <laughs> right, we'll go back. We'll go back to number one. The foot, the um, sequel to Super Mario World was Super Mario Two: Yoshi's Island. Yay! <coughs> Yay! One, <laughs> one out of ten. Uh, number two, how many Legend of Zelda games are there? Nineteen, twenty, or twenty-one? <clears throat> there are. There are only nineteen, not twenty. Uh, fair enough. Oh well. Never. I was <laughs> never going to get that. I thought. I thought it was literally about ten. <laughs> Yeah, it's that astounded me a bit as well. Uh, number three, the urban myth that suggests Donkey Kong the game was to be called something else. Um, Monkey vs. Plumber, Donkey Apocalypse or Monkey Kong, it was Monkey Kong. Oh, okay. That Apparently makes more so. sense because he's a monkey. <laughs> yeah, he is a massive monkey. <laughs> um, so it's one for three so far. Mm. Uh, number four was how many different games has Mario appeared in? Uh, zero to a hundred, hundred and one to two hundred, or more than two hundred? And it is more than two hundred games he's appeared in, yeah. which is incredible. Yeah. <clears throat> that is just mental. Uh, next one, I've already told you you've got right, but how, um, uh, which Nintendo console is available in the colours Indigo, Jet Black, and Spice? And it is the GameCube. I'm going to call it now. GameCube. GameCube, Y for yes. Yep, so you are three for five. Mm -hmm. uh, number six, when did the Wii U launch? It launched in 2012. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, even Nintendo uh, don't care. <laughs> exactly. Uh, number seven, the hidden message on a Nintendo Switch Pro controller actually says thanks to all game fans. Does it? It does, what yeah. What a stupid message. I'm going to quickly... Get it up on screen now and see if I can show firstly you and then the camera. What an absolutely stupid message to put on. I'll try there. the I'll try the camera first. I mean, if you're not going to be able to read it, there it is. And then I'll show uh, Mr. Ed on the camera there. Hang on, that's the wrong bit. Can you sort of see it? I can sort of see that there's a marking there, yeah, but yeah. I can't really see what it is. It says thanks to all game fans in in text speak. Okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, sorry. Uh, I'm taking way much longer than I thought it would, sorry. Um, huh? Number eight, first household console released in to consumers. Was the NES. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> so that, yeah. And also, first Super Mario Brothers game released was 1985. Lovely, same year that my cousin was born. That's there you go. sort of how I remember that. The <laughs> same. The same cousin that I nicked Yoshi's Island from. Good. He's got you. He or she's got you two points in this. Yeah, thanks, Alex. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and finally, number ten. Which Legend of Zelda game created the Zelda timeline was Ocarina of Time. How was it? Fair it, it sort of was a fifty-fifty, really. But this whole quiz was three choices, so I yeah. threw another one in. Fair Link to the past. I, Ocarina I, of Time. I thought was Ocarina of, of Time. It really only went through a span of about seventy-two hours, where you had to make sure the world didn't end and you kept going back in yeah. time within that small time frame. But there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play it to figure it out. <laughs> to figure out what they're it's talking about. It's good from what I've I've got the kind of disc on GameCube with all the kind of early Zelda's on it up until uh, I think there's a demo of Wind Waker. It goes up as far as that. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's it's a it's. It's not too bad. I think I'd probably appreciate it more now that I've played Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Well, there you go. You, you got five out of ten, after That's all. That's not too bad. That's all right. That's not too bad. For a multiple choice of three, average, even if you guessed, you'd get three out of ten, so five, pretty good. Hmm. Fair enough. Yeah. That's me done. I'll pass well, over to you now. I'm going Sorry. to keep with the same sort of structure, but the idea behind right. mine was basically two truths and a lie. So it is effectively a quiz yes. with yes. multiple choice. Um, there's only five yeah. different things um, in mine. So, and what I've done is I've kind of done them about the the statements are about similar things, um, okay. and we're starting. They're all over in the wrestling world. So good luck. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and this is mainly because we're very close to SummerSlam. Um, so the first, okay. s the first section is about SummerSlam. Funnily enough. Oh, okay. True. 
Yes. Three. <laughs> so points. Two of two of these statements are correct, and one of them is a lie. Okay, so I'm finding the lie. Find the lie, please. Yes. Find so the lie. The first statement is that one of them, one of the SummerSlam pay-per-views has actually been held in the United Kingdom. Oh, okay. The second statement is that although WrestleMania is a more popular event, SummerSlam is actually older than WrestleMania. Oh. And the third statement is at concurrent SummerSlams, 97 and 98, in the first year, um, Stone Cold Steve Austin broke his neck, and then the year after, he got knocked out unconscious partway through a match. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> so which one of them is a lie? See, I want to say that one, but it, it, it because it sounds the most unbelievable, it almost could be true. Now I know how all those people on Would I Lie To You feel <laughs> <laughs> when they get this sort of round. Um, oh, that's a, that's a good one. I haven't heard that anything's being held in the UK, but then again, I wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't, because I, you know... I don't follow those matches. There are two Pokemon YouTubers I follow that mention wrestling every so often. Mm -hmm. Like little jokes about it that I don't understand. Oh, okay. Um, Fair enough. You and go like in their streams, yeah. they'll talk about it with people in the stream that have yeah. seen stuff. Good and I'll just... You go, yeah, I know what they're talking about. I bet about. that would be funny. <laughs> yeah. But I haven't met, heard them mention the United Kingdom. So I'm tempted to say that one's the lie, but we'll say... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Obviously, the company we're talking about is a massive American company, so... Yeah. I mean, they tried Saudi Arabia, and that didn't work. Well, um, they're, still, they're still going there. Obviously, they do things in Canada. They have wrestlers from all over the country as well, so it's not just yeah. an American-only company, so... Okay. Well, I'll tell you, I will go for the one being held in the UK is a lie. I'm going to go for that, because I haven't heard that that is the case from anywhere. Well, That's the only logic I have. <laughs> I will be telling you, unfortunately that one is true. Oh, is it? 1992, oh, okay. it was held at Wembley Stadium. Oh, really? Wow. Um, in front of about 80,000 people. And wow. the main okay. event saw um, England's own British Bulldog win the Intercontinental title. Oh, really? Oh, that's good. In thing. a match, he claims to have very little memory of, or claimed when he was alive, and completely forgot all of it just before it was about to start because he was drugged up a lot at the time. So his opponent basically had to carry him entirely through the match. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> yes. But apart from that... Apart from that, yeah. Uh, the other true statement was the Stone Cold broken neck and knocked out. Um, that was actually oh, okay, true. Yeah. And the broken neck in 97 severely limited his uh, career, obviously. Oh, OK then. Yeah, <laughs> I, I suppose it would do. Yeah. But uh, no, it is, it is not older than WrestleMania. WrestleMania is the original, oh, okay. the first ever kind of big event they ever did in 85. And SummerSlam came around in 88, I think. OK. So that's the OG. That's the lie. <coughs> Damn it. Speaking of WrestleMania. Yes. Three boxers, well, more than three, but specifically with regards to this, we have three boxers that have appeared at WrestleMania. Okay. Two of them have actually had matches of some description, and one yeah. hasn't. Right. Okay. Which one hasn't? So the three boxers are Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather, and Butterbean. Right, okay. I vaguely remember something about the third one doing something. I don't, I, I don't know why that is ringing a bell, because I don't watch wrestling or boxing. Fair enough. <laughs> or, ha or have heard of that person. <laughs> but for some reason when you said it, I was like, oh, I'm sure they've done something. It's a kind like, of it's name been you in... wouldn't forget if you heard it, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to say that one's true. And then there's... Mike Tyson and Floyd... Right, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Mike Tyson seems like he'd be up for it, because he appeared in The Hangover. Oh, yes, he did, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Yes. Weirdly, which is one of the DVDs I'm, I've been stacking, standing <laughs> the camera on. 
Or didn't, obviously, because yes. it was too high. Indeed. Um, actually, is there a picture of Mike Tyson on there? With a tattoo halfway across his face. There is, actually. Yeah. Speak of the devil, there he is. Um, in that case, just because that's a sign, I'm going to say Floyd Mer <laughs> I'm gonna Yeah, I'm going to go Mr. Floyd Mayweather. You're going to yeah. say Floyd Mayweather didn't have any kind of a match of any kind and yes. the other two did. That's Yes, yeah, what I'm going for. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. It's actually Mike Tyson. I thought when oh, really? I thought you were going to go down the route of Tyson when you were going down that. <laughs> yeah, sign. Route. He, 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 no, I, I just I just thought because he appeared in a film, he might have done more elaborate things like W, you know, like, uh, he, like wrestling. He was very heavily involved in the main kind of storyline for the title. Um, but he okay. wasn't actually in the match. He was kind of there as a, an onlooker and as a kind of a special enforcer. But he wasn't. Okay, he then. didn't actually have a match, whereas Floyd Mayweather did and Butterbean did. Yes. Okay then. Yes. Sorry. I, think, I, I don't even know who Butterbean is. Oh, I'm looking at that. I later. don't. I don't See know. Outside know. of he knocked out Bart Gunn, who was a wrestler. Oh. Bearing in mind they had a boxing match, Butterbean is a right, boxer. Okay was a boxer I don't even know if he's still with us or not um, but yeah he knocked this guy out in literally seconds <laughs> oh dear one punch and he was gone Bang because gone. of course right, he did he's a boxer <laughs> <laughs> it's his thing yes um, oh, right, right. Oh, I'm not doing well talking of matches weird matches yes. um, I have three match types here two of them are legitimate actual matches that happen right, fairly okay. frequently. One of them isn't. One is one I've made up. Um, in one match, the object is to bury your opponent in a grave. All right. Okay. In another match, the object is to actually make your opponent bleed. Wow. Okay. And in the last one. Um, the object is to actually legitimately knock your opponent unconscious. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they all sound ridiculous. <laughs> insane. <laughs> Two of them um, are actual proper normal wrestling match types and another one yeah. isn't. Well I'm gonna say the first one is probably true because I've heard some of the other styles of, of, of matches like a chair or something you were saying you know that, that was all of that stuff yeah so i'm gonna say like weird elaborate things like that that's probably true <laughs> that one probably i said blood or unconscious that's a weird choice to make about what <laughs> well i'm gonna say in in the current world they probably would have stopped an unconscious fight or even though you could you know you could um you could probably script something like that but well, this is, as I say, this is legitimately not actually not yeah. The, not a, yeah, we've hit him and he's unconscious. I mean, yeah. and as uh, and as well with the blood, it's not fake blood. It's not we it's get real. a blood capsule out. It's and they are actually bleeding from their own like head or wherever. Yeah. Okay then. I don't know how you could shed blood in a wrestling match. It's more impact rather than penetrative <laughs> into the skin. Um. I'm going to go with the blood. The blood. Blood. But you think the blood is not the, the match? Yeah, I'm probably going to get zero on this quiz. So let's, go. <laughs> <laughs> let's find out. I'm, I'm afraid to say the blood is... A, a, a first blood match is a, oh. it is a... It's it's a bit tricky because the obviously the, the, the outcome is pre-scripted. So what yeah. they used to do and what they tend to do, not so much in WWE now because it's... Um, PG product, it's not for kind of um, mature um, viewership because of all their sponsors and everything, but what they used to do was actually blade themselves Okay. so if at one point the idea was at the end of this I hit you with this thing that's going to make you bleed what they then do is go down kind of sneakily cut their own head, you, usually oh, okay. is their head um, and bleed from that but uh, yeah, any organisation where the object is to legitimately knock your opponent out unconscious, I'd be very wary of, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, 
to, even the blood one I'd be wary of. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess so. It's pretty, yeah. it's a lot safer to just bleed ever so slightly than actually be, like, knocked yeah. unconscious. Oh, I should have gone for that. Damn. Uh, God, what have we got? Never... We've got title matches next. Title matches, title, okay. Or things about title matches. Again, two things are real and one thing is a lie. Uh, the first thing is going back to the old intercontinental title belt. The okay. first ever winner was somebody called Pat Patterson and he won a tournament in Rio in 1979 to become the first champion. Okay. The second statement is that the youngest champion that WWE have ever had um, at the time was a school child, school boy or girl. Right, okay. And the last statement is that they have actually in the past retired the main women's title for the entire division. Oh, okay. So there was just like no... Like, got rid of their world title, but for women instead of for men. Yeah. Okay, then. I've got a feeling they've probably done that one. I've just got a feeling that's probably a thing that's happened. Mm -hmm. oh, it feels weird to have a school child win something. <laughs> that feels strange. But I haven't got a great track record so far. <laughs> <laughs> uh I can't remember. What was the first one again? Sorry, I the can't remember. The first one was... Something about Rio in 79. Yeah, uh, there was a tournament that was won by Pat Patterson in 1979 to become the first ever intercontinental champion. Okay, then. I'll get, that's, probably a, <clears throat> that's probably a thing. So I'm going to leave that one in. Oh, so that process of elimination, then. I suppose school child winning was... Uh, this the lie? <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm going for. That's what you were... No, sorry. Uh, <laughs> not, not doing very well on this one. No. In in fairness to you, the, the, the Rio thing, that is basically a kind of long held story like part of the storyline. There never was he was the first champion, but it was basically just given to him. There was no tournament ever. Oh, okay. Um, it was a complete lie. But no, they had a 10-year-old win the tag belts with somebody at WrestleMania 34. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, and he, they had to give the belts up the next day because he had to go to school. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like it was a worthwhile yep. thing then. <laughs> exactly. And in terms of okay, retiring then. the women's title, they've actually done it twice. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I seem to be very good at dismissing one of them correctly straight oh, away. yeah, pretty much straight off the bat. You're like, no, that's <laughs> definitely a thing. Yeah, and then it's... Yeah. For this last Terrible one, I'd do exactly the same thing. And whatever one you think it is, go for the other one. <laughs> yeah, okay then. I'll do that. <laughs> All right, then. Go on, then. Hit me with the last one. I've got to save myself. Right. None of us have ever got zero on a quiz. <laughs> we're, b we're back to SummerSlam. And we're, okay. we're looking at sort of big moments of SummerSlam history. Okay. The first being that in this wonderful PG era of no blood, as we said earlier, um, yeah. the actual proper planned legitimate end of a match between Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton was for Brock Lesnar to legitimately, with his elbow, smash Randy Orton's head open and make him bleed all over the mat. Wow, okay. Um, the second thing is that uh, two wrestlers, Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero, had a ladder match to decide who would get custody of a child that they were both claiming to be the father of. Wow, OK. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and the last one was the fact that SummerSlam was once cancelled due to poor weather, um, and the because of that it was... Uh, not possible and unsafe to actually hold the event in the arena. Okay. Oh. <laughs> now it's pressure. <laughs> um, I want to say that that first one sounds so bizarre, but like beyond the realms of even WWE, 
So I want to count that one out straight away. Okay. <laughs> which may which may be a bad thing. I don't know, but, I, but I'm going to try and dismiss one straight so off. So that's the one you're saying is definitely true. That that actually happened. <laughs> oh right. Okay. Could, no, I shouldn't be, should I? Hang all on. right. Yeah. What? Two of these actually are things, yeah. and one is not. Yeah, I've got that the wrong way around. Yeah. Oh, I think that one's the lie. Right. Let's try and count. Cr- cr- right. Which one's true? <laughs> I think the weather one sounds true. That sounds like something that's probably happened. Mm -hmm. So that's gone. That's gone. Okay. Now, which of the two bizarre answers (laughs) is one that you've made up and is one that's true? Elbow to the head to legitimately draw blood. Mm Mm-hmm. Or a ladder match to get a baby. (laughs) Basically. Basically, yeah. Yeah, there was a... The, the idea behind it was there was custody papers at the top of the ladder, and whoever wow, got okay. them was the dad. Okay, then. <laughs> uh, in that case... In, oh, right, okay. Well, I th- I think the elbow one is probably the lie, so therefore I'm going to go for the ladder answer <laughs> as the lie. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Yeah. In the whole, I think it's that one, so I'm going to yeah. go for the opposite so one. So I'm going to go for the other one. Okay, okay. <laughs> In Which fact, is probably they're gone. both true. Oh really? Oh, so the first as the... mad as it was, yeah. Okay. The the it's never been cancelled ever. Oh right! Wow. For okay. any reason, um, I mean this this year has been proof of that. They probably should have cancelled things many many months ago because of the pandemic, and they went no nope, yeah. sod that we're going to carry on anyway because we say so. With no crowd. Uh, yeah. Basically, oh, but okay. uh, no, uh, 2016, yeah, the, the match ended because he split Orton's head open with his elbow. Oh, wow, okay. And that was the planned end of the match for some reason, and it was that never seems... followed up on. It, there was no, yeah, absolutely pointless. He was just left in a pool of blood in the middle of the ring. Right, <laughs> that just seems pointless. Yep, it was. It absolutely wow. was. Okay. So much so that some people backstage actually thought that it wasn't a plan, and they right. actually tried to have a fight with Lesnar in the locker room yeah. afterwards because they thought that he'd just kind of Lost done it. that because he yeah was annoyed or something. Um, and also, yeah, the the ladder match was a thing. Yeah. For the for the That's... custody of Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who won. Uh, his actual dad, thankfully. Right. Okay. <laughs> and funnily enough, he's actually due that small boy is now not a small boy because this was fifteen years ago, and he's due to oh, make his in he's ma- he's due to make his in ring debut this SummerSlam, fifteen oh, okay. years on. <laughs> Wow, fair enough. Yeah. The actual baby. <laughs> the actual, yeah, he was about, I think, eight, nine years old at the time. Oh, okay then. Yeah. Right, well, so, we've learned. I've learned something new today. <laughs> yeah, basically, the, the, the whole company is absolutely mad and insane. <laughs> <laughs> they sound it. Yeah. They, I don't know what to say to that. I was, I was actually trying. I was finding it difficult to find things that were as outlandish as the actual true things, <laughs> just so that yeah. it wasn't like here are two really absolutely mad things, and here's a normal thing. Which one <laughs> stands out? <laughs> That's just yeah. I am. I am lost for words on some of those. Yeah. Yeah, I should have gone with the unconscious one. That's what I'm thinking. Ah. Oh. Oh well. Oh well. Well, zero for the first time on one of our sort of quizzes. Yeah. I don't think either of us have ever got have ever got nothing. <laughs> no, but in fairness, you were doing it on very ridiculous material on something <laughs> that you don't kind of engage with. Yeah. <laughs> very true. <laughs> uh, that yeah, that's my saving grace. Yeah. There you go. I didn't have the knowledge, therefore I got nothing. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. That seems fair. Well, we've proved that your knowledge of Nintendo is 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 half good, and I know nothing about WWE. There you go. <laughs> we'll take that. Yeah. Both with three choice answers as well. Yeah, it was a bit spooky that actually. Yeah, and I keep slumping. Sorry. That's all right. I should sit up straight. Are you slumping on camera, or are you just slumping to me? <laughs> uh, both. All oh, right. <laughs> 
I'll, I'll, I'll just finish off the, the <laughs> thing down here. Just the top of my head. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, it will just look like now I'm really sure. Anyway, sorry, I think the heat's got to me. You've <laughs> all got a bit weird. Oh, oh well. How is well, it still yes, well, hot at this time of night? The sun's I gone in. Don't know. It's ten past nine. And it's still really hot. We started hot. 40 minutes ago and apparently it's still... I don't like it. 24. Uh, hey, that's the temperature it was when we started. 26 when we started. Oh, it? It's gone down oh, okay. by two. Ooh, two. <laughs> Yippee. But we've sat down not moving for ages and... Oh, God. <laughs> No, we've just had uh, we've just had laptops go. Here's all the heat from the fan. Heat, Here's heat, all the heat, heat in the room. Yes. <sighs> now, uh, oh, I'm going to get that fan on over there in a minute. Okay. I'll put it on now, but it, you wouldn't have heard me speak. Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Mm? Uh, well, thank you for watching, everyone, because yeah. we are now watching. here. <laughs> watching where we are yeah it's us we haven't it's had us, anyone say oh my god we don't want to see you go away where's the audio version so yeah, yeah exactly so we'll keep going keep until going. you tell us yeah. not to exactly yeah all right well for, for this fortnight thank you for watching we will see you in another fortnight <laughs> probably uh, yeah what day is probably. it fortnight? i'm just trying to think because i go away soon oh fair enough briefly yeah. not for very long but It'll be near the end of August. Yeah. Thirtieth. Um, yeah. We'll 30th. find some. We'll find some way of recording probably early. We always do. We'll still, when one yeah. of us goes away, it'll just be might be recorded a few days after this one or the yeah. next one. There'll still be something. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't even know what number we're on now. Forty something. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Forty something. <laughs> Forty something. Isolation episode number ten or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. God knows. Isolation year. Oh, who knows? <laughs> anyway, yes, I'm going to go and sit in front of a fan and then try and then not sleep forever. That yeah, way. that's going to be fun. We get to wake up and go uh, again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, oh, God. Well, thank you for watching and we shall see you next time. <laughs> yes, I feel like we're well, rambling well, yes. now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll go back, to, we'll go back to moaning and being miserable next time. Yes. <laughs> bye. Yes, bye.